Hey guys, it is Freshly Squeezed Gaming here, and welcome to another Top 10. And today, I'm going to be counting down the Top 10 Best Mario Kart DS Tracks. So yeah guys, I've done I've done Mario Kart 8, I've done Mario Kart 7, and I've done Mario Kart Wii, so yeah, it's time for Mario Kart DS. So yeah, let's get straight to this list. So guys, at number 10, I have Delfino Square. So guys, um, this is pretty much a city-based track based on the game Super Mario Sunshine. So yeah, it's it's pretty bland at parts. At this part, it's pretty gray and dull. That's why it's at number 10 because I love colorful tracks. This track has some color and it's it's pretty cool. I guess the most the most fun part is the ramp towards the end. But yeah, it's overall a pretty decent track and that's why it's at number 10. So yeah, Let's get to number 9. So guys, number 9 is DK Pass. So this is a very average snow track. I mean, it's got lots of hills and stuff and has a secret um, item box that has either three mushrooms or a star in it. And yeah, there are snowballs coming down at you that you have to dodge the whole track. So yeah, it's, it's pretty much it with this track. And yeah, it's also another very below average decent track just like Delfino Square so yeah that's why it's pretty um, low on the list so yeah let's get on to number eight so number eight is Peach Gardens so the beginning of the track is kinda of boring you go through a little fountain but then my favorite part of the track is the um towards the end of the track with the um, section and it's sort of type of maze type of thing with chain chomps going everywhere you have to try to avoid the chain chomps but yeah it's peach gardens it's it's a pretty track and with flowers and bright colors everywhere lots of green and yeah it's it there's not much gameplay involved it's just more of a um a scenic track if that's a word so yeah that's why peach gardens is at number eight so yeah let's get on to number seven so number seven is Wario Stadium. So the best part about this track obviously is all the ramps. There is lots of ramps in this track. They're a bit overused, but yeah, they're just everywhere. Like right there, there's ramp. There, there's another ramp. They're just, they're just everywhere. And yeah, there's lots of mud on the sides and fire. And it's a pretty exciting track to race on. But yeah, it's 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 it just doesn't really compare to the other tracks on this list. I think after this track is where the tracks start to get really good. So yeah, let's go on to number six. So, number six is Rainbow Road. There's always a Rainbow Road in a Mario Kart game, and I think this one is, is pretty good considering it's on a DS. I mean, there's lots of corkscrews, like right here you go totally upside down before anti-gravity was even a thing in Mario Kart. And yeah, there's also another corkscrew, and there's lots of sharp turns and stuff, and yeah. This track is, is pretty good, and of course, Ra Rainbow Road is always good, so I have to give it some points for just being Rainbow Road. So yeah, that is number six, so let's get on to number five. So number five is Luigi's Mansion. This track is based off of Luigi's Mansion for the GameCube, and this track definitely gets some extra points for being based off another game. I love Mario Kart tracks that are based off other games and other things like that. And yeah, this is a really well-designed track. At the beginning, you have a small mansion section, but then the rest of the track is a wood section with lots of mud and walking trees, and I think this track does a really good job of being spooky and scary, and I like the beginning with the, um, how the mansion is faded. So yeah, that is Luigi's Mansion. So let's get on to number four. So guys, number four is Airship Fortress. So yeah, I love this track. Like I just said, I love tracks that are based off other things, and this is based off the airship levels in Super the Super Mario Bros. games, and yeah, 
I I love this track. I love how there's different sections of the airship. You start off with the bullets going at you, then you make a turn into the laser section, then you blast off into a cannon down a spiral tower. And yeah, that is the track. I just love the design of this airship. And I think it's a really, really cool track. Definitely one of the coolest tracks in this game. But yeah, that is number four. So let's get on to number three. So, number three is Bowser's Castle. So yeah, I had a tough time deciding which was better, Airship Fortress or this track, and I ultimately decided that Bowser's Castle should be put over Airship Fortress because I think this track is a lot more difficult, has a lot more sharper turns, has that um, beginning section with the um, moving floor and the lasers and the thwomps, and then it has this spiral beam section, which I think is pretty cool. And has moving platforms and you go up a few more ramps and then yeah that is the track so yeah I just I just like the design more of this one just because I, I love Bowser's Castle in every single Mario Kart game all the top tens have done so far Bowser's Castle has been up there in the top four for every single one so yeah that is Bowser's Castle so let's get on to number two so, number two is TikTok Clock. This track is phenomenal. This track is legendary to the Mario Kart series just because of how creative and different it is than all the other tracks. It's it's in a freaking clock. I mean, there's not many tracks that are as creative as this one. Except for number one, that, that's a hint to later on. But yeah, um, I love this track. You you just you um you freaking drive on gears and you have to avoid a pendulum and clock hands and you get to drive on even more gears and this this track is just great so yeah I have one honorable mention for this list before we get to number one so yeah let's get to the honorable mention so the honorable mention for this list is cheap cheap beach this is a pretty cool beach theme track that barely didn't make it onto this list so I just wanted to give a shout out to this track so yeah now let's get to the best track in Mario Kart DS and possibly in Mario Kart history Walu Freaking EG, freaking pin, freaking ball. That is the best track in Mario Kart DS. Waluigi Pinball is number one on this list. Oh my gosh, I love this track. It's so creative. It's in a freaking pinball machine, and you just—it's just crazy. You um, you drive around the track, and there's lots of loops and turns. And you have to avoid the pinballs that are going through the machine. And then you get to the center of the whole track right here. There's just It's just so colorful. There's balls flying everywhere. And you have the slot machine above and the huge Waluigi um, machine thing. I don't know what you call that up there. But yeah, I also love the beginning right here. The spiral part. That's, that's really cool. This whole track is cool. This is... Oh my gosh, I... I don't know, just, why is Waluigi not in Smash? He ha he has, like, the freaking best track in Mario Kart history. Why can't Waluigi just be in Smash Ultimate? Oh, okay, okay, I'm done. So, guys, that is it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it, watching me count down my 10 favorite tracks in Mario Kart DS. So, yeah, make sure to go check out my other top 10s, especially the other Mario Kart top tens so yeah hope you guys enjoyed this video like comment and subscribe see you guys next time bye bye